Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill it anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, no positivity. Sending blessings and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love Island UK Season 10 on the latest episode. And Tyreek is the star, you guys. Tyreek is the star, and, and it's and it's an, an, it's insane, you guys. It is absolutely insane uh, that the man who has no relationship experience, who has never had a girlfriend, uh, who has never had any form of a commitment, is the voice of reason on this show, right? Uh, so what did he do this episode that made him the star? So they were playing a game, uh, the whole cast was, of Never Have I Ever... And for some reason, Zach wanted to be messy and say that he's never, ever, uh, you know, was two-faced about somebody. I guess he was trying to get some people uh, to come out that they have been two-faced about certain people. And so then, uh, you know, Tyreek ups the ante, or somebody else ups the ante and says that they never had a threesome, right? And we all know who has. Um, And so then Tyreek ups the ante and is like, never have I ever cheated, which technically would make sense if you are a lifetime bachelor and you have never uh, been with an, a woman that was on the level of a relationship if you're just smashing and dashing everyone and there's no relationship there's no commitment there's no dinner dates there's nothing of any substance that leads to any semblance of a relationship then then technically he's right right so just uh you know and ella they have a strong reaction because the bombshell drink um mitch should have drank because it came out that he was like stringing three girls along at once um in the tabloids uh and then uh zach drank and that he has cheated before and so basically said that he was younger and that he has since matured but also said later in the episode that uh basically he would have to be with the right woman and not to cheat on her so basically it validates why Ella and Jess said once a cheater, always a cheater, right? And that, you know, just because you're admitting it doesn't mean that it's a maturity thing, right? You're you're letting people know who you are. Just like Tyreek was open in the beginning that he's an F boy, right? He is letting people know who he is in the event he screws up at Casa Amor, right? So why we are defending cheating, I have no idea. And I have no idea why Molly is sticking beside this foolishness, uh, you know, to defend it. Like, it sounds crazy. And then Mitch started sticking up for Zach, who on a given day, we don't know if he's his friend or his enemy. Uh, but nonetheless, after all of this, uh, Ella basically admitted that she reacted the way she did because she had got cheated on. She got cheated on, and so she was triggered when somebody else was proudly admitting that they were cheating. And it wasn't anything to do with Zach or Molly specifically. She just felt a certain way that somebody was just so brazen with it. Like, yeah, I cheated. As if that is something to uh, celebrate, right? And 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 then Tyreek, he was so cute because he is like, you know, patting on Ella's, uh, you know, thigh, trying to calm her down. And he's like, baby, 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 baby. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's Irene. He was like, baby, 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 baby. You know, he was like, um, and, and he was like, off the rip, I'm going to, you know, anytime in public, I've got your back, I've got you. But in private, I'm going to check you. In private, I'm going to tell you if I felt you overstep or if you were out of bounds. And in this example, I felt that, you know, your reaction was a little over the top, right? And while you may not have intended to judge Zach or whatever, and I understand you were triggered from your own personal experience, I think it's just best to, if we kind of come in as a couple and just apologize to Zach, let him know that it is nothing personal, uh, so everybody can move on and everybody's on good terms. And the way that Ella just immediately like walked up and was like, okay, baby, and just walked straight over to Zach was like some mind, <laughs> some mind screwing I have never seen before, man. Uh, I mean, Ty is something. For somebody who has no experience uh, dating women and all of the things, uh, the way he flipped that, I was like, whoa. I, I almost would have believed that he's never had a hundred bodies and and, <laughs> and 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 all of the things i would have thought he was lying that he's never had a girlfriend uh but nonetheless ella went over to apologize to zach and zach and jess came over because she thought that this was not going to be apology and that they were going to further cuss out zach and she just sat there and remained mute but then later on I, uh, you know while ella is having her little powwow with Catherine and and um and Whitney off and on throughout the night. Uh, Mitch comes over to start drama with Ella. And is like, 
well, I don't appreciate you trying to start something uh, with Molly and Zach. And Ella's like, what? She was like, I wasn't. She was like, I reacted the way that I did. And I've already apologized to Zach about it because I was triggered because I have been cheated on. It has nothing to do with Molly and Zach. Nobody was trying to anticipate a reaction out of them about it. I felt a way because I was cheated on. And so Mitch doesn't want to hear it and, it, and, it, and, it's, and it's being, you know, completely unreasonable. And so then before bed, uh, Mitch is complaining to Tyreek, well, I don't like the fact that Ella's so opinionated. And Tyreek, again, another bonus today, another green flag, right? Green flag number two of the episode. He's like, Mitch, listen, Ella's my girl. I am the one who has to deal with her. You do not. Uh, so why you are this triggered, why you are this bothered about Ella having an opinion is absolutely ridiculous, right? Uh, what is Ella supposed to do in that villa? Just sit there and be quiet and, and just let Tyreek do all the talking? She's not allowed to express herself or say if she feels a certain way about something or if she sees the fakery of Mitch, she sees the game that Mitch is playing. And so, um, and so then they all go to bed or whatever. And, and Tyreek and Ella, they've been cute the past couple of nights because normally they're like, they're going at it. They're doing bits. They're doing all kinds of stuff under this bed and kissing. But the past couple of nights, um, they have been cuddled close, but like their hands have been like intertwined with each other. And it is such a nice contrast from like when they're fighting, right? And and I'm I'm getting sucked in, and I and I know that this could end badly if Tyreek, uh, you know, does what I think he potentially has is capable of doing at Casa. But nonetheless, the next morning, um, everybody chose violence, <laughs> and, and Tyreek and Ella um, are no different. So Ty wanted to continue the consider cons um, not the consideration, the conversation with Mitch, and say, listen. I don't appreciate you coming at my girl and, and making false accusations against her. And Mitch is like, well, I don't care what you think, right? That's my opinion. And that's what I said. And I'm not going back on it. And so Sammy is all like trying to mediate. And he's like, listen, we got to resolve this. We got to move on or whatever else. And, um, you know, Tyreek is like, well, it's just funny because you're picking and choosing basically who you want to hold accountable and who made you in charge of the villa. And I was like, tell him Tyreek that this is your villa. Let him know that you run things in this villa. And I, uh, you know, Mitch is all trying to give it back to Tyree. Like, oh, I've lost respect for you. And Tyreek's like, that's fine. I'm still going to sleep at night. I don't care. And so, uh, and he was like, so you're not going to apologize for falsely accusing Ella of trying to stir the pot of with Molly and Zach when I told you that wasn't her intention. And he's like, no, I'm not. And I was like, wow. And so Sammy's like, so nobody's, nobody's going to find a way to, to do this. And so uh, Tyreek being the bigger person, although he didn't need to do this, he basically was like, listen, I am sorry for the way that I came at you, but ultimately you needed to be checked for how you were doing, right? And how you're, and how you're playing a game. And so I hope that due to the strong reaction of this, because Mitch didn't have this smoke for Jess at all, who started all of this and who was a lot more louder and vocal about being anti-cheating than Ella was, that he gives Ella an actual apology, right? They made Kath, um, they made uh, Sam Lee, Sammy give Catherine an apology uh, the other day. They better make Mitch give Ella an apology, right? Because that was very inappropriate it was very inappropriate the way that he came at ella when everything was already squashed trying to have a moment trying to have a scene trying to have some drama he owes ella an apology for that because she owned her behavior she immediately recognized once tyree pointed it out to her and and it made amends right then i also had an issue um you know on the date because Zach and Molly go on this date and Molly now is being two-faced herself and is all like, yeah, I think the girls were just trying to get me to have a reaction to you saying that you cheated. And I was like, why didn't you say that to their face, right? And, and uh, Zach was like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It didn't work. And I'm like, Ella just apologized to you and you said it was fine and it was squash. And this is what I mean. Uh, I don't buy what Zach and Molly are selling because they are being very fake and they never have the same energy to say it to anyone's face. Just like Zach didn't have the energy to say what he said about Tyreek and Ella during the um, couple deliberation and it's still fake up in Tyreek's face all day. So I, I, I just can't do it, right? And so then the cutest thing also that I also rated Tyreek was that 
uh, after he cussed out Mitch for his foolishness and, and refusing to take any ownership of how he was moving, uh, he goes over to Ella to comfort her. And I was like, aww, aww. I was like, green flag, green flag, green flag. But Tyreek is carrying the show on his back. Him and Ella, the past couple of nights, have been having like this Nelly, uh, Aaliyah vibe, uh, Nelly slash uh, Cassie vibe, where it's like early 2000s fashion. And, and I just love it. Like the all black, the leather. I love the matching fits. I just love the cool and calm energy between Ty and Ella. And I don't know what changed. I don't know if it was them on the day bed. I don't know if it was them in the hideaway. But something definitely has changed to where it's like even Tyreek is a lot more attentive to Ella than he was previously and is like calling her pet names now. And I don't know if this is because she kissed Zach in the challenge or if, you know, both Scott pulled her and Montel pulled her that Tyreek realizes like what he has in Ella and how much of a catch she is and how much of a draw she is that he better not bleep this up uh that he is really trying to put in the work to let ella know like 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 we're we're in this together like we're together uh so so we'll see what happens right i am hoping that they can pull this out because if they can pull out casa amor i really think they have a good chance of winning but that would have to mean Tyreek is not on some foolery and is not doing no mess outside of the challenges. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if he tries to be a Jake and instigates the other men to do stuff, uh, you know, during the week to cheat on their girls. Uh, but uh, basically, Ty is going to be like the, the the older responsible one out of the crew. So, so we will see what happens. But I just feel like I cannot trust... Uh, these men and I feel like the rest of them are a lot worse than Tyreek because I feel like a lot of them are playing a game and telling their couples um, their women what they want to hear and even Mendy um, showed himself and that's another thing I rate Tyreek he knows these men inside and out and that's why I never felt it was personal that he voted for Catherine and Scott he is going off of what he knows from Scott and he knew that Mendy and Whitney are a friendship couple and, and now Mendy's moving mad, trying to still talk to Ella, right? And so, uh, you know, and so Tyreek was right again. He he knows these people. He has these people's tea in the villa. And I think that's the real reason they're mad. He has these people's tea. Ella is the bone collector uh, getting the tea and, and collecting the tea or what have you. And uh, Tyreek is blasting the tea and, and putting everyone on blast and letting them know, hey, we're just going to get it out in the open. We're going to have as many hour, honest hours as possible. And I'm here for it. I do not mind it at all. Uh, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys.